Hey everyone, welcome back to Plug In Tut. As always, your host, Matt, and this is the home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. If you do enjoy this channel, some of the videos that I produce, we are inches, mere inches away from the 500 subscriber mark, which is one of my milestones to, uh, to the end of the month to hit. And it looks like we're gonna exceed it fairly soon. So if you do enjoy this stuff, I do invite you to subscribe to always stay connected. I'd love to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year to start off 2017 with a real bang. And speaking of a real big bang, we're talking about Beaver Builder today. We're going to talk about the five reasons that you should buy Beaver Builder. Now, Beaver Builder is free. You get a free plugin uh, in the WordPress repo. And then, of course, right on the screen here, we have the optional uh, pay for packages here starting at $99, then $199, then $399. I'm going to be pulling bits and pieces from these different packages uh, that, you know, for my top five reasons to purchase uh, Beaver Builder. And we're going to dive right in. And first, just to let you know how this is set up, is I have uh, this one uh, demo site with the free version set up. And I will go into this settings page here on this settings page. Uh, this is the website with the pro version. So you can already see that there's definitely some uh, differences here. You can see in the terms of what we have, uh, in terms of what we have for options to select from, and then, uh, you know, what's lacking on the free version and what we have in the pro version, okay? So let's dive right into reason number five, saving custom templates, rows, and modules inside the page builder of Beaver Builder. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look uh, at this website. We're gonna go right into the page builder. And again, this is the pro version. You're not gonna get this on the free version. So let's just go here and test this out. So <clears throat> right here on the right-hand side, you can see in the builder, uh, the builder customizer, as I like to call it, is you'll see save rows and save modules. And if we look at the free version, uh, that does not exist. Also, if we go into the uh, template section on the pro version, you can see that these are my templates and then these are the predefined templates, but we're not gonna talk about that right now. You can see that I, I can create my own templates and save them, whereas on the free version, uh, I don't have that option. I can only get this little sort of upsell that says, hey, you can learn more about these template features, right? So right there, you can see the differences. Lastly, if we go to tools, you can see here that we can save the template here um, and then do all kinds of other things. So what's an example? Well, for one thing, let's say I, I came into this uh, hero area or services area and I really built it out the way I liked it. Um, and maybe I'm gonna use this again on another page throughout this site or maybe another site uh, that I use Beaver Builder on. And I wanna go ahead and save this. So I can go right up to the row settings and click save as, and I can say Matt's awesome custom row. Uh, is this global or not? So I'm gonna say yes, I'm gonna save that. Now the row is saved, and whoops, I didn't wanna click on that. I am gonna exit that. I'm gonna go back to the, uh, back to the homepage here, sorry. Uh, if I go into the tools section, sorry, the add content section, you can see right here that I have this uh, under the save rows as I have Matt's awesome custom row, which means I can just cr keep creating this. Now it's gonna look exactly the same here, but I can use that across the Beaver Build, uh, the site that I'm using Beaver Builder on. So that's an amazing uh, little nugget of <laughs> helpful web development. So you spend all this time maybe customizing the perfect layout. Maybe this is a landing page. Maybe you're creating multiple landing pages or team pages. You can save that uh, right in the uh, rows and you can do the same thing with modules, right? So if you dropped in a module like, um, I don't know, the call to action and you spend all you know sorts of time sort of customizing the the text, the the benefit, the feature, all that stuff, uh, the real motiva motivational thing of a call to action. You spend some time customizing the button. You can then save this as, you know, Matt's best uh, call to action. I'm not gonna save that one as global. Boom, there it is. Go back to add content, minimize this, save modules, Matt's best CTA, right? And you can pull that up individually. That's the screen that I was on before and just customize it away from the maybe distraction of an entire website that you're working on. Right, so that's another nice little 
feature, little hidden feature of Beaver Builder, it's something that's not super apparent uh, unless you're spending some time working with this stuff. Uh, and these two features right here, th that makes it for my number five top reason to buy Beaver Builder. Moving right on, right along, number four, uh, the modules, and more specifically, the killer modules of Beaver Builder. Okay, so we just saw some modules in action, but one more time, let's hop over to the free version. You can see here that all we get in the free version are just the basic modules, audio, HTML, photo, text editor, and video. And then the advanced modules would be a sidebar, right? So now this is a traditional WordPress sidebar. You can drop in uh, other WordPress widgets um, or maybe stack sidebars to do, uh, you know, some, some various... Uh, trickery <laughs> in terms of widgets. Uh, I guess you could get clever is basically what I was trying to get at there. You could get clever with stacking sidebars and widgets, but all of that is just so much better with all of these modules that are available in the pro version of Beaver Builder. Now, I'll be fully honest here. I think there's a lot, there's, you know, there's a few modules here that, eh, that really don't do it for me. Like the number counter, that doesn't really do it for me. Post carousel, that doesn't really do it for me either. Pricing table is questionable. Depends on how many sites that you're working on, you actually need a pricing table. And if so, like how many times are you going to use the same looking price table? Because I just feel like pricing tables are, um, you can get really crafty with the design and uh, the optimization of that to encourage purchasing. But there are some really killer uh, modules here, like one, this call to action module, I think is great. Second is a killer module like the WooCommerce module. And I'm just going to briefly show this. I'm not going to go into too uh, deep of a, um, of a discussion on that. But if I wanted to do something like a, I don't know, the checkout page, like if I was creating a new checkout page, where I wanted to randomly have a checkout page uh, on, on the homepage or a specific page of my site, you can see there, I can load in the WooCommerce checkout or even the cart. Let's say you were making a, another landing page for a product and you wanted to have your cart up top uh, and then continue to have all your content below that. You could do that by stacking um, some of these WooCommerce modules here. And I think that that's a uh, killer module definitely is the WooCommerce module, uh, especially if you're building out a lot of WooCommerce sites and um, you just need some of these features. Now, it's important to note that you can't uh, build out the pages of a, um, you know, of a typical WooCommerce uh, template. So that is to say that I've seen this across some of the Beaver Builder forums and Facebook groups, people asking these questions, like you can't load up a WooCommerce uh, template and customize that template. You could mix and match these different types of things and build a, you know, Beaver Builder layout with the, uh, the WooCommerce settings here, but you're not going to just dip or dive right into a WooCommerce predefined layout and start messing with that. I hope that makes sense. Um, but again, number four, uh, the modules and the really killer modules like WooCommerce really make uh, my purchasing decision for Beaver Builder even easier. Number three, the pre-made templates. This is a huge time saver. You're looking at a pre-made template here, right? Some of these templates might do the job for you and uh, for an existing project. So you might go into a project, you might be uh, a WordPress consultant uh, or freelancer. And if you activate your pro version of Beaver Builder, which, uh, excuse me, the standard version of Beaver Builder, you get those uh, premium modules and templates. So for 99 bucks across unlimited sites, you can get the, um, you can get these templates. Now, one of the really cool things about Beaver Builder, uh, and not just Beaver Builder, but other page builders that we looked at, we've looked at Divi before, uh, and you can do the same sort of thing here. But if I like this layout, let's say, I don't know, this one, I'm going to replace the existing layout. And I can come in and customize this stuff. You know, again, I'm, I'm sort of over these. This is just my own sort of <laughs> opinion on these sort of uh, animated percentage circles or counters. Um, I'm sort of over those in, sort of in, in terms of a design trend. But if I wanted to like get rid of that, I'm going to remove that. I could do that. And I could clean up these templates. That doesn't mean that just because you're loading it in doesn't mean you need to necessarily use all of these um, given areas here. So let's say I, I did something like this. I could also, you might have noticed before, let me pull up the landing templates again. If I saw something from, I don't know, this template right here, I click on that, I could append the new layout. That's gonna drop it at the bottom of this template that I've already selected. I might like, I, I might like just this 
uh, this row. Like I might really like this row and I wanna use that in this given template. I can just move this piece up, drop it in wherever I see fit. Of course, there's be some styling differences here, but you can go through and, and make those adjustments. Uh, but the idea here is, is you can mix and match these templates. You can remove the parts that you don't like or you don't wanna use in this particular website, clean it up, and then again, the number five reason to use it was to save these templates. And I could save this and reuse this template as, uh, as I see fit. Again, you're not gonna get any of those templates. We looked at that in the free version. You're not gonna get any of those templates to select from. When we click that, you're just gonna get this little learn more button to kind of learn more about upgrading to the pro version. I'm gonna get rid of that tab because that's confusing me. Okay, so that's number, uh, number three on selecting uh, the predefined layouts. Reason number two, this is a big one. Um, this is one that's probably overlooked and um, one that could definitely be argued even, um, you know, 50-50 with this, but the Beaver Builder theme, okay? So, of course, for the free version, you're loading in to whatever WordPress theme that you're using. Now, uh, there are plenty of themes that do work with Beaver Builder, um, and uh, I know specifically the theme that I put out uh, called Baton, the Baton Pro version, uh, which you can get at Slocum Themes, uh, or to try the free version at wordpress.org slash theme slash baton. We have it uh, compatible with Beaver Builder. And the biggest thing that we have compatibility with is the full screen, or excuse me, the full width layout. So for example, this is the 2015 theme uh, for WordPress. Uh, you can see here that I don't, I, there's no way to, just, just the, 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 in terms of the design of this page, there's no way to do a full width layout here because just, normally by the constraints of this theme. There's a sidebar on the left-hand side, and then there's its content area here. But if I wanted to drop in, uh, let's say, this column, you can see that it's just these rows. It's, it's only going to fit within this content area. The biggest difference with when we're loading up the... Um, or actually, I'll stay here. This is the Beaver Builder theme, right? So naturally, I have, you can see this edge-to-edge, -edge, this full-screen ability to drop in these rows, which makes these nice big hero areas, plenty of room and stuff like that. But you might be looking at, okay, well, how do I edit this? This is such a plain sort of site name or logo area. Um, you know, the search icon sort of just hanging out here. How do I, uh, you know, customize that or change that kind of thing? Uh, setting. If I go to the customize, uh, now this is where things can get a little bit confusing. So if you're brand new to this stuff and you are sort of on the fence of whether or not to buy uh, Beaver Builder, understand that Beaver Builder page builder section or feature is to build the pages, to build the layouts, to drop in these modules. Now the theme controls a global styling attribute, right? So you could drop in this module like we saw before. You could change the fonts within that module. You could even save that module. You could apply a CSS class to it if you're savvy enough to do something like that. But the Beaver Builder theme will give you all of these options on the left-hand side. Now, I'm not gonna go into every single one of them. I think one of my other Beaver Builder videos, I've done that. But let's, for example, the header logo. Here it is right here, it's a text logo. Um, and I could just say, you know, here's my awesome site. I could change that font. Uh, to web safe font or some kind of Google font. So I don't, I don't know, I'll just don't even know what this is going to be, but I'll just click on that. And this will load in a Google font. And that's the font that I selected. I can up the font size. I can give it a different font weight depending on which font I selected. And then I could do things like uh, the, na oh, excuse me, the header style. So if I didn't like the background color here, I could change that. I don't know, to something like this, <laughs> this sort of dark gray. Uh, and I can make all of those modifications basically for the header, the footer areas, right? Down here, I can change all this stuff too, all within these options. I can change all of the, uh, the way the menus react, the way the logo reacts. If I wanted to switch from a text logo to an image logo, logo I could do that and select an image down in here. Uh, but then also for the content of, uh, of the site. So the way the blog layout is set up, the way the archive layout is set up, um, the way the WooCommerce layout is set up, right? I can do all that stuff. I can change the text for the entire site. So if the entire site you can see here is Helvetica for the font family, I can change that to say Georgia, and that'll make a sweeping change across the entire site. 
And you can see here that changed to a Georgia font. Um, not for all areas, right? Because some of the modules are going to give you this predefined uh, heading, uh, which you can actually change here too. So you can change Helvetica to do that. So it's going to change all of those content areas. You can adjust all this stuff. There's just so many options within the Beaver Builder theme to make your designs match up. And uh, that was really one of the key reasons for upgrading to the pro version and getting that uh, getting that Beaver Builder theme because you can make all of those modifications, okay? Last but not least, the number one reason to purchase the Beaver Builder theme or the Beaver Builder plugin, upgrade to either standard, pro, or even the agency model, we're gonna talk about that in a second, uh, is the support. So you get one full year of world-class support. Now, I've been doing WordPress stuff for a long time, I even have a, a plugin that sometimes gets compared to Beaver Builder, and they're two totally different plugins, but you know, to a degree, my plugin conductor, about it's, it's focused on content, so sometimes people look at it and say, oh, can I uh, build uh, pages like Beaver Builder with this? No, you can't. But I've come to know that these chaps here, Billy, Justin, and Robbie, and they have a burning desire to build a great product. They have a burning desire to give back to WordPress, um, and they're here to support their product. So when you do dive into this stuff for the first time, you could watch videos like the ones that I create, or you could ask uh, th their team for support. And you get that every single year, as long as you have a valid license. This is very, this is overlooked because some folks look at it as just saying, I, you know, why do I need these features or why do I need support? There will come a time where you have a question. There will come a time where you're working on a customer's project and something's not, maybe something's just not right with Beaver Builder itself and you want to reach out and ask somebody. So you could spend time, you know, Googling or YouTubing or asking Facebook groups, but the whole idea of you spending that 99 bucks a year or 199 per year or 399 per year is to get that direct support from the team that builds Beaver Builder. Uh, and they'll get the questions answered for you. And there's no fussing, there's no waiting around. You just go ahead and ask those questions and they get it, they get it. If, look, if it's business, I get really revved up about this stuff because it's so, um, you know, it's so near and dear to 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 my uh, to my business, of course. But uh, the way I provide uh, is that support, and that's so worth again the ninety nine bucks to have somebody there for an entire year to ask <laughs> unlimited questions to within reason, so long as it's about Beaver Builder um, from a great team. It's it's truly uh, the best reason uh, to upgrade. I have a bonus reason to upgrade. You can see here on the agency model, uh, there is the white labeling. And, and I kind of put these two to a tie, right? So in the pro version, again, multi-site capable. Like if you need multi-site compatibility, uh, well, you have no choice but to go to the 199 version, right? So you might be you know, building out, uh, um, like quite often I'll build out multi-sites for universities or colleges or large organizations that have multiple departments and they're building maybe like an intranet using WordPress. Um, Beaver Builder is a great solution for that, number one. But number two, you can get that multi-site compatibility with their pro version. So that tied with the white labeling. And what does the white labeling do? Let's take a look. Go into the dashboard. We're gonna go into the da, 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 settings, page builder. And there's two, um, two areas of the white labeling you can, you know, change the name of what the page builder plugin shows up as, right? So you could change it from page builder to, you know, Matt's builder. Let's just see what that looks like. Whoops, I accidentally hit enter. You can already see it changed on the left-hand side, but let's do this again. So right there down on the left-hand side, you'll see it, it went from page builder to Matt's builder. And then I could, and right up here, right next to the beaver builder icon, it says, Matt's Builder settings. Um, you could change that Beaver Builder image, right? So if you, instead of the, the beaver.png, you could load up another graphic there. Uh, if you wanted to change the theme branding, you could change all of that stuff here, the name, the description, all of that, um, which, uh, you know, depending on how you work with clients, uh, I'm not fully sold on the idea of white labeling and hiding the fact that you're using page, a page builder, number one, but number two, that you're using Beaver Builder, because depending on how you service your customers, um, you might, it's, it might be advantageous for you to tell them that, look, uh, you have to buy the license 
the billing goes through you. Uh, I'm just here to sort of support you and help you put the pieces of the puzzle together. Um, you know, so I'd say that that's sort of a mixed mix bag, whether or not you want to hide the branding of Beaver Builder. But again, this is bonus, this is bonus number six, <laughs> bonus reason number six as to why to upgrade to the agency model uh, or package. You can do that white labeling. And this is a cool, this is a better white labeling advantage, I'd like, I'd, I'd say, is you could put in your own helper videos where they have their helper videos enabled, right? So you could link to a different knowledge base, you could link to a different video, you could link to a different support. So this is kind of a killer feature for the white labeling and the agency plan is you can redirect or link these or swap this video out and really make it feel like the customer is going through you. Again, depending on how you have your support contract set up, depending on how, how much you uh, are transparent to your customer, that kind of thing. And I think it's best to be as transparent as possible uh, just to wrap that up. So one more time, let's recount uh, the top five reasons to buy uh, the pro version or the uh, professional version or the agency version of Beaver Builder. Number five, saving custom templates, rows, and modules. Number four, the modules themselves and especially the killer modules like WooCommerce. Number three, the pre-made templates saving you boatloads of time and then you can mix and match those pre-made templates and really uh, supercharge the uh, completion of a WordPress website build out. Number two, the Beaver Builder theme comes with a plethora of options to sort of mix and match uh, and, you know, really style your site to the way that you've created the layouts. And number one, the support from Beaver Builder uh, is going to be top notch and going to be the best reason to upgrade to a paid plan for Beaver Builder. My name is Matt. It's PluginTut.com, YouTube.com slash PluginTut. If you do enjoy videos like this, go ahead and thumbs up, share it with friends and family and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we are inches away from 500 subscribers and it would really help the channel. See you later, everybody. I'll talk to you next time.